Hi everyone, welcome to Dine and Talk with Abby. I'm your host, Abigail Boatma. Thank you so much for tuning in today. But before I start, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone. And on behalf of the team here, Bridges of Hope and Dine and Talk with Abby, we've seen everything that you guys have been doing. You've been streaming the videos. We've seen all the likes, the comments, and we truly, truly, truly appreciate you all. And the feedbacks, oh my God, I, I can go on and on, but the feedbacks are so important for us. So please keep it coming. We are listening to all the feedbacks and we're using the feedback to make something enjoyable for you all. So please stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, share it to a friend so we can all learn about our health, you know, just ways that we can improve our health. If you've been following up with Dine and Talk, you know we've been talking about how we can set goals, how we can eat, you know, even look at the label and then eat better. We've also talked about macronutrients and we did talk briefly about micronutrients. For macronutrients, we've learned about our carbohydrates, our proteins, and our fats. For today, we're gonna talk about our micronutrients. So for our micronutrients, we have two micronutrients. We have our vitamins and we have our minerals. So to start off with the vitamins, vitamins are usually produced by plants or animals. So they can be classified into fat-soluble vitamins and water-soluble vitamins. So when you think about fat-soluble vitamins, we're thinking about our vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. Think about how they're stored in the body, so they're fat. And for our water-soluble vitamins, we have all the B complexes, you know, and our vitamin C. Those ones are excreted from our body daily, so we need to replenish it. That is why we talked about eating varieties of food. That is why. So, you know, we just don't like to harass you guys to eat varieties. There is a reason. Okay. Now, let's talk about our minerals. So, our minerals are usually found in water and they can be absorbed by plants or by animals. Minerals, let, let's think about calcium, potassium, magnesium, and also some trace elements like iron, zinc, copper, and selenium. All these that I'm talking about when you look at the back of the food label, you're gonna see it. The fact that they're so minute or they're needed in a smaller amount doesn't mean it doesn't really do anything for the body. Cause let me tell you, you without these vitamins and minerals, we can really function properly. So we're thinking about immune support. We know how much vitamin C does. We know how much zinc does for the body. Why would we run to go get uh, orange juice or like orange or vitamin C tablets the moment the sore throat kick in? So there is a, a reason for all the madness. Immune support, immune support. Also, let's think about bone health. So bone health, we're thinking about vitamin D. We're thinking about our calcium. They do work hand in hand. So for example, vitamin D, will help with calcium absorption. So for us that have little kids at home or people that are growing, we just need to provide them with a, a little bit more of milk, you know, have, making sure they're having enough of all the green leafy vegetables, they're having the nuts, the seeds, just so they can build stronger muscles. Also energy production. Everything is about energy. We're eating so we can have enough energy to kickstart for the day or whatever we're doing. And these vitamins play a role in that. They work together to help us create that energy that we need. Also, they're good with cell growth and repair. If it takes you too long for your wound to heal, then you know that you need your vitamins. You know that you need your minerals. So they work hand in hand to promote better health. Okay. So now let's talk about some ways that we can see if someone is malnourished, you know. If you're thinking, can there be signs? How will I know if I'm malnourished? So usually it starts with the general fatigue, the weakness, you can feel that in, in your body, then you know, okay, something is wrong. Sometimes too, you can have like a pale skin or even with your hair. For our ladies that want, you know, 
all that beautiful hair growth you need to have your biotin you need to eat your vitamins so that can be a sign also with our mouth you can have a very dry lips or like scaly patches on your mouth that can be a sign of a vitamin or mineral deficiencies to some extreme it can be you can you know like with iron deficiency right when you get up you get dizzy you get that light head headedness and then you feel like you're gonna fall that can also be a sign of iron deficiency anemia also sometimes you can have all that muscle cramps your eyes are twitching then you know you need potassium to help with that all the cramps so all i want to say today is that let's eat all varieties so think about all the colored foods that you see at the grocery store let's not just eat the basic ones Eat all the colors that you can think of. Eat your yellow vegetables, eat your green vegetables, eat your blue, anything purple, the fruits, eat them as well. Because the brighter the colors, the higher amount as well of the nutrients that you're going to get. So let's not take any of these foods for granted and eat all of them. And also something that I really, really want us to think about is how easy it is to lose these vitamins and minerals from food. So with our cooking processes, let's make sure that we're not always cooking our vegetables. You know, you're not putting too much heat to it. Let's eat some raw as well. Eat your salads. If you don't like your salads, just the regular vegetables that you're able to eat. Make sure you're having them in a raw quantity, like a, a big amount of them, you're eating them raw. So that can help as well. So you're having enough of the nutrients in that food. Because if you're cooking them, there is too much heat exposed then that can also leach out some of the nutrients. And also, let's think about good cooking techniques. So boiling vegetables, that should be gone. No, we don't want to do that. So for example, beet, if you want to boil beet, that's fine, but use the water. Don't just throw the water away because when you boil it, the nutrients leach out of the, the food and then you throw the water away, you're not going to have any nutrients. So let's practice really really good cooking techniques as well at home so that we can retain all the nutrients and it can have a very good effect on the body and one and all to summarize everything that we've talked about today we know say micronutrients you know you hear in smaller amount right but the fact that we need it in smaller amounts you know it doesn't mean say a money pediano a bueni pediano pa and to be honest with you Without it, no, you mean function yet. So let's make sure say you do varieties nina. In simpacho uti mea me say yin di varieties. Eat different colours of fruits, eat different colours of vegetables, and also so won't we dianin swa. You make it sure say ye make janum kum too much. Some of the vegetables no, we can just leave them out. Why yun kwen we no chicha vegetables no fegun kwainum nenum nidi pacho and one no. If you have any comments, if you have any questions, just share it in the comment section and I will be more than happy to reply. Thank you so much and I hope to see you next week. Bye.